Mm. They, they, they mm. almost certainly be, well, they will be micro. When you say that, but I watched a but film still. called Life last night in which there was a journey to Mars and they took back the soil sample. And of course, there was this nutty professor like yourself <laughs> who incubated the soil in his lab. Yeah. And needless to say, that was a bad idea. The that's not going to happen. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we might find microbes, and they, they'd be Martians. They would be, yeah. that would be, we, we are not alone in the universe. Mm. I'd love to know the answer to that question. Okay. Well, you see, you were talking about stars out there. Uh, Lucy wants to know, how do stars burn? Because that's what they're doing. How do they burn in space if there isn't any oxygen? Oh, because they're burning uh, their nuclear reactions. So the way the sun burns is by taking hydrogen, which is the simplest element in the universe, and just assembling helium, which is the stuff you get in party balloons, which is the next simplest. And when you do that, you release energy, and that's what the sun's doing. It's, it's burning, though, 600 million tonnes of hydrogen every second into every helium. Every second? Every second. And at that rate, it's got about another four or five billion years to go. So it's a real, and actually in the, in the book, we, we, you, you might say, how do you know that? Yeah. How do you know there's helium in mm. the sun? Oh, this is a and there's a great, you can see it by watching how the sun wobbles and sort of mm. shakes. Mm. It rings like a bell. Mm. And you can do that, it's called helioseismology. It's like seismology on the earth. You look at earthquakes, there's sun quakes. And by looking at those, you can see what the interior is made of and you, you get the answer. It's got this helium and hydrogen in it. Talking of quakes or sort of things, Natalie says, what would happen to the Earth if it got knocked off its orbit by a <laughs> meteoroid or an asteroid? Is that a possibility? Uh, the things you think about, Natalie. Well, it's actually, it's, it's a really good question in that, so we don't think there are any things coming to collide with us anytime soon, and certainly nothing big enough to knock us out of our orbits, but it did. Uh, we're pretty sure now that the moon formed when the Earth got hit by a planet the size of Mars, yeah. very early on in its history. It's knocked some chunks off, knocked the Earth over, which is why we have the seasons. Yeah. So all the things we take for granted, like the past and the seasons, came from something like that um, that happened four and a half billion years ago. So it does happen, or it did happen it a long did. time ago. But, but it won't happen. You don't think it'll happen? Yeah. It's not going to happen. Don't need to worry, Natalie. Talking about a long time ago, 